A new report from the Australian Electoral Commission shows former magistrate Peter Maley donated $50,000 to the country Liberals last year. The report has also drawn a Darwin school into the controversy surrounding Foundation 51. The private company has previously been labelled a country Liberals slush fund, a claim denied by its director. Kate Wilde reports. Comilda College expanded its campus to include primary students last year based on research from this report. It was a great report. The money it paid for the report has now appeared on a list of political donations published by the Australian Electoral Commission. The board commissioned some research. The company commissioned to do that was Crosby Texter. Peter Jones was shocked to hear Comilda College's $33,000 had been declared to the Electoral Commission by territory company Foundation 51. He says the Cormilda College Board didn't see the invoice. The Board was happy with the work and so the invoice was paid. It was only today, to my considerable surprise, I found out that the, that the invoice was actually made out to Foundation 51 and not to Crosby Texter. Crosby Texter is an international research and polling company known for working with conservative governments in Australia and overseas. While Cormilda College remains confused, Foundation 51 Director Graham Lewis is not. He told the ABC today the former principal of Cormilda, David Shinkfield, commissioned Foundation 51 to do the research. I commissioned Crosby Texter to do the education part. I invoiced Cormilda directly for that. Amongst the biggest donors to the country Liberals were the Helikos Group and barrister Peter Maley, each giving $50,000. Mr Maley could not confirm whether his donation was made while he was a sitting magistrate. Whether I was a magistrate or not, uh, if you're a Territorian, you're entitled to participate in the political process. And uh, I make no uh, apology for donating to the, uh, to the CLP, and I will do in the future. Mr Maley was criticised last year for maintaining political activities while serving as a magistrate. Kate Wilde. ABC News.